Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm coming back with another video. I want to do something a little different, something else a little different, guys, of an uh, artist. I want to do something where I have artists that I just randomly discover and do them. You know, even if even if the the albums or mixtapes or EPs came out like two, three years later. I want to try to think outside the box and do this. So this is what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm very, very late. And she is going to be on my list like crazy when she comes out with her next album. Because I cannot stop listening to her first album. This girl right here has been giving me life for the last couple of days. And I just don't know how to describe this beautiful creature herself. This girl is Melanie Martinez. Now, bitch, take her to a land and pause because I'm about to go off on this review. Okay? They call me cry, baby, cry, baby. But I don't fucking care, cry, baby. Oh, oh. Guys, yes, Melanie Martinez is a bad bitch, okay? This girl right here, let me tell y'all something. I have to get thanks to one of my friends. She's one of my friends at school. Her name is Sonovia Clark. And I just noticed out of the blue that she was listening to something. This was last year. And I noticed out of the blue she was kind of listening. She was listening to somebody. And I just, I looked at a video and I seen this girl. Y'all know I like a good visual. Y'all know I like a good visual. So I seen this girl in this, look like a dollhouse. Okay, so I'm looking at the video. I'm like, okay. Who is this girl? She's kind of weird and out of the box. Because y'all know I like weird and out of the box. So I'm looking at the video, and I'm like, okay, I, I'm, I, and I like this song as well as I'm listening to it. I'm like, okay, who is this? So I asked my friend who she is. She said, this is uh, Melanie Martinez. You never heard of her? I'm like, no, I never heard of her. So I listened to her, right, 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 right. Dollhouse, which is one of my favorite fucking songs on this album, Cry Baby. Guys. Let me get into this. Let me let, let me get into every all the songs, everything, every every track. Okay, Melanie Melanie Martinez is amazing. This girl has thirteen tracks on this album. I'm late. Okay, but when I heard every song, and this girl has a video for every song on the album. Now that I think, now that I look at. You know, I didn't get a chance to really look at all the videos, but I did look at some of the videos, and she has a video for every song. And come to find out, I think I found that that this girl it was on The Voice. Now I didn't know because I, I don't, y'all know, I don't, I don't really watch The Voice like that. But when I see, when I'm, when I'm, when I now as I'm discovering her, this girl is dope as hell. Okay. From all these songs, these stories that she tells in her videos is amazing. She keeps my attention. The visuals are on point. I think I read that she does her own videos or something like that. She is amazing, okay? I just looked at some of the videos. I just could not believe what I was seeing, okay? She has, you know, she's got this portrayal of, like, she's this Barbie doll, and she's in this whimsical, and she's, a car she's on a carousel, bitch, and they just all fucking flying around, She's like she she's just I just love her 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 her, her imagination. She has a, a imagination to be a twenty one year old girl. Okay, she is amazing with the visuals, with the storytelling, with everything. So I'm just listening to this album. I get into this Cry Baby, which is the very first song, the self titled song of the album. Okay, is the first song. She's basically saying, I, I I'm a people are calling me a cry baby, but she don't fucking care. Now, bitch, I know that's right. Cause when because hey, we all got stuff that we want to get our frustrations. We all have things that we want to get our frustrations out on. And I have to really, really give her her props because she just saying, I don't care if I'm a cry baby. If, if I appear to be a cry baby, bitch, bitch, I'm a cry baby, okay? That's it. That's all. That's then. That's that. Then we got dollhouse, baby. Oh my god. 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 Thank you. D o l l h o u s e. H o u s e. I see things that nobody can see. Dollhouse, 
Oh my God, this song blew my head off when I heard it. It's just got this. It's creepy as shit. It starts off like one of those clown uh, uh, music boxes. It's so weird, but it's creepy and I love it. And this, and then this has got this beautiful finish in it. This has got this D O L L H O U S E. She just, she just, she just, she's basically saying in the song that this family that she's in appears to be this perfect family, but it is as all lies and fables. Okay, it appears to be like this dollhouse. Like a dollhouse is is, is everything is set in place, and you just got these still images, right? But her her thing is everything everything that's everything that glitters ain't gold. Basically, is what she's saying. Everything that glitters ain't gold. Families have flaws. To everyone, this family seems perfect. But to her, she knows the secrets that the family is holding. Bitch, I love this song. Oh my god. Now the next song is just so smooth and chill. And even though it's talking about something, maybe. I don't know. She 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 just went different levels with Sippy Cup. Sippy Cup is just probably one of my other favorite songs that is on this album. Okay, I get, 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 ugh. Melanie girl. Number one, I love the name Melanie. Okay, I love a girl that got the name Melanie. Okay. Sip it. Syrup on your Sippy Cup. Sip Sippy Cup. Syrup is the syrup is the syrup on your sippy cup. Child, I love this song. Okay. Get into it, get into it, get into it. Sippy cup is just amazing. It's so chill. But she's talking about something nasty on the song. Let's just put it like that. She's portraying herself to be a baby doll, a Barbie doll, a baby doll, or something like that. But no, she's talking about something else. Okay, and I really, really, really like it. I really, really think that it's dope. I love it. What? Carousel is just one of it's just it's just it's a banger. It's probably one of the best bangers on the album, and I really really like it. It just talks about everything is in a carousel, basically. I just love the message, the way, the direction that she was going with the song just really really blew my head off. Oh my god! Then we got your next song. Are you ready? This is one of my favorite songs on the album. The next song is Alphabet Boy. Okay, she's basically, she is just going off on this song. This song is one of my favorite songs on the album. It starts off. Alphabet Boy. I know my A, B, C's, alphabet boy. All right, now, this girl is talking about some, she doesn't need a rocket scientist to tell her how to live her life, okay? She's, people have been bringing her up and they've been trying to bring her down. And this person is a smart ass, basically what she's saying. And she doesn't need her A, B, C's and one, two, threes to, uh, to uh, or her degree to be to be a uh, to be smart, okay? She's basically saying she's smart. She doesn't need all of that attention, okay? She doesn't need an alphabet boy to guide her through her situations is what I'm getting out of this song. Alphabet Boy is dope. The beat is dope. I love it. It's one of my favorite songs on the album. I can't stop listening to it. Oh my god. The next song is soap. Okay, she needs to wash her mouth out with soap because she got a potty mouth. I like this. I think that this is just probably one of those songs I will hear in Forever 21. And it's just get that. Y'all know, it's, it's got it's got a it's blippy and it's got the, the soap sound and sounds to it, and it's blippy, and I like it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. The next song. Is one of, another one of the songs that I really really like called Training Wheels. This song is giving me Fifty Shades of Grey. This song just sounds like Christian is coming after Anna, and he messed up again, and she's on her training. You know, this is this is giving me Fifty Shades of Grey. They should have probably had this on Fifty Shades of Grey. 
I don't know. They just should have had this. Even though it probably came out after Fifty Shades of Grey came out, but I just think that this is just probably one of those songs that fits with that movie. I don't know why, but it just really sounds... It's kind of giving me a little seal, too. When I listen to it, it gives me a little seal, and I like it. I just think that it's so beautiful, okay? It just talks about um, she loves it when he brings her out of her... She loves her when she... She loves him when he... Stops her for doing dumb shit or something like that, she said. I love it. I just think that it's a good song. Pity party, okay? She's basically saying she don't want a pity party. It's her, it's her party. She can cry if she want to, beg if she want to. This is just one of those... One of those classic, cult classic songs that I really, really like. Okay, Tag, you're it. She's playing high go seat with this guy, or she's just playing high go seat, And all fun and games are over, basically. The next song, number 10, Milk and Cookies, okay? She don't want your milk and cookies, okay? I love it. I just think that this song is amazing. She really, really did do a good job, okay? Amazing song. Pacify Her. Okay, she doesn't, she, 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 okay, Pacify Her is just amazing. Okay, I just really, really like the song. It just had a nice little mellow beat to it. Uh, it's dope. I gotta give her her prop. She did the damn thing on that. Mrs. Potato Head. Okay, she's putting herself in a Toy Story. Basically, she's, you know, uh, 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 it's, 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 uh, all these songs have deep messages. They talk about uh, uh, humanity. They talk about self-esteem. And she just channels her inner imagination in these songs. And throughout these videos, you are going to be wild when you see them. Her imagination is out of this world. This is one of the things that caught me, caught my attention to her. And her lyrics that she's singing on these songs are just amazing. And her music choices are amazing. The last song, Mad Hatter, okay? I was definitely feeling, I thought it was a dope song to end the conclusion of the album. She is amazing. Melanie Martinez, girl, I wish I would have reviewed you when this album came out. This album came out August 14, 2015. Now, this album came out the day of my birthday. If you all remember, this is the day of my damn birthday. And I was so late on this album. I'm so mad. Because if I would have heard this in 2015, I would have fucking loved it. And it's on my birthday. So, I got to give her her props. I got to give my friend Sonovia her props because she did an amazing job by introducing me to her. Because I didn't have, I had no idea who she was at the time. I'm like, okay, Melanie Martinez. But when I seen her, I said, okay, this girl got character. And it's, it's something that's very, very unique about her. And she's different and she's weird. And I like weird. And she just has a weird that feeds my energy. And I love it. So, I, I, Melanie, you are on my list, baby. You are on my list. I'm waiting for your new album. Ooh. This is Forever Brandon TV. Check her out. If you haven't checked her out, check her out. I will put a link in the description. I'm late. So this is my should have reviewed video. This is should have review one, part one. Okay. I wish I should have reviewed this. So guys, check it out. Deuces. I hope you guys like the video. Bloop.